Olivia, Molly, and little Nova miss their mommy very much. And I just want you to come home. These girls need you. Olivia misses you. Heather McDonald kissed her husband and three young daughters goodbye and headed out to visit a girlfriend. The 27 year old mother never returns home. And during our interview, emotions spill over. There is not a soul in the small, tight knit town of Cartersville, Georgia, that believes Heather McDonald would simply walk away from her three young daughters and adoring husband, Stefan. Where did you and Heather meet? We were neighbors. She was the girl next door. After years of innocent flirting with the cute, petite brunette across the street, Stefan says the two began dating, and before long, they were happily married with three adorable girls. Tell me about Heather. She's fun-loving, funny. Um, she's a great mom. As far as your marriage, it was solid. We have good days, we had great days, we had bad days. Um, but it, it, it was a marriage. Stefan admits in the weeks leading up to Heather's mysterious disappearance, he couldn't help but notice a dark cloud brewing over his normally cheery wife. She was behaving a little unusual. And she said, well, I'm just stressed out and, you know, life is hard uh, with, with three kids. Heather worked part time at a quick trip convenience store, but was mostly a full time mom to her girls. So at first, Stefan says he thought maybe she was just exhausted. That was until something far more troubling transpired. So about a month prior, something happened. Yes, she had gotten in some trouble with the law where she had, um, you know, some pain medicine that weren't prescribed to her. During a routine traffic stop, Heather is arrested for possession of prescription drugs that were not prescribed to her. Stefan could not confirm who she got them from. Were there friends that she had that maybe you didn't know about? There's almost certainly friends that I didn't know about. Stefan says he was now becoming increasingly worried. Heather was crumbling under the overwhelming demands of motherhood. So when she told him she needed a little break, he said he encouraged it. She said she was gonna go spend a few days with her friend. So on Saturday afternoon, Stefan says Heather loaded up a red Jeep Wrangler he'd rented for her and headed to a girlfriend's house in the town of Ackworth. Did she make it to the friend's house? I was under the impression that she was at this friend's house. The next morning, Stefan says he and Heather exchanged several text messages. Heather wanted to know what her girls were up to. I told her that we were going to clean house for a little bit and then go over to my friend's house to watch the Falcons game. Okay. At 11.58, I asked her what she was going to do, and there was... She yes, doesn't get back to you. No reply. By Sunday evening, Stefan says he's actually angry with Heather for not returning any of his messages. I was a little heated because, you know, I've got all three girls and it's stressful. And so I, I vented a little bit in frustration via text, but still nothing was coming back to me. But by Monday, that anger is now grave concern. So Stefan tracks down the number of Heather's girlfriend. It's a call that still sends chills down his spine. She said that she wasn't there. She had not been spending time with her. So you think that she may have lied to you? She was definitely not where she told me she was going to be. Stefan discovers Heather is in the town of Ackworth, but she's staying at a different friend's house, a friend that raises some eyebrows. Was it another girlfriend? It was a guy friend. It was a guy friend. Nobody that she's had any kind of intimacy with or anything like that, just a, a friend. I have to ask this because people are gonna say, well, why would she leave her three kids and her husband to go spend time at a regular friend's house? Do you have any explanation for that? Well, I mean, she, she was stressed out and she wanted to go kind of decompress. decompress, exactly. Was Heather living a secret life behind her husband's back? Was she a young mom in crisis who willingly walked away from these little angels? Or was there something far more dangerous going on? The answer was about to be delivered right to Stefan's front door. I hear knock at the door and it's the stern like it's the police knock and I answer the door and uh, a patrol officer had found her Jeep at a hotel. 
a hotel that had a reputation as a no-tell motel. So was Heather there with another man? I asked him if he had found my wife as well, and he said no. Lieutenant Mike Beckenkoffer says Cartersville police did find Heather's rented Jeep Wrangler in the parking lot. Her bags are inside, the doors wide open, and her keys are on the ground. You don't believe Heather left on her own accord? It's a suspicious um, situation. What was missing from the vehicle? To my knowledge, nothing. The only things missing are Heather, and according to Stefan, her phone. And all of her things are inside of it. Yes. And so there's just a lot of things not adding up. Cops look at every possible lead and person. They question Stefan and that mysterious man he says Heather was staying with in Ackworth. They both cooperate with police, but there is one thing they can't answer. Where's Heather? She was nowhere to be found. Then a possible break. She said that people followed her. Heather's young sister Madison remembers a chilling conversation she had with Heather just weeks before she went missing. Did she give you any other information about those people? She would just point out different cars and she would just say she kept seeing them. Like multiple cars? Yeah, well, different ones. Everywhere she went, she said she would see them. Every time she would leave the house or something to go somewhere, she always would see them. What do you want people out there who watch this in a national audience to know about Heather? She loves her children. She loves this family more than anything. She would never leave. Stephen McDonald just wants his wife, Heather, the mother of their three little girls, home safe. Somebody somewhere knows what happened. or where Heather is, we, we just want Heather back. The 27-year-old mother's mysterious disappearance has rocked the tiny town of Cartersville, Georgia. We wake up on and off all night long, just thinking, like, where could she be? It's a nightmare. At first, Stefan says Cartersville police questioned him, wondering if the young mom of three willingly took off on her own. Do you believe Heather would leave you and those girls behind? No chance. But as the bizarre circumstances surrounding her disappearance begin to emerge, police now believe, without a doubt, something bad has happened to Heather. We're working around the clock uh, to try to locate her. In the weeks leading up to Heather's disappearance, Stefan admits the normally happy-go-lucky mom was acting strange. She was arrested for having prescription drugs that didn't belong to her, and she confided in her family she was worried someone was watching her. Heather even told her sister she thought somebody could be following her. Did she ever say that she saw them at work before or that she's seen these cars or these people anywhere else? Everywhere she went, she said she would see them. She thought that she had seen a couple different cars in a couple different places, um, the same car. That they were watching her? That's kind of what she thought. And any indication as to why? No. The only clue police have to go by the rented red Jeep Wrangler, like this one. She was driving when she left home. Her rented Jeep was found the next day, and it was open with the keys in it and her belongings, and she was nowhere to be found. The abandoned Jeep was suspicious enough, but it's where cops find that Jeep that has them baffled. It was in the parking lot of a cheap motel in a not so nice part of town. Describe to me this motel. It's a hotel or a motel on the edge of town. Would you say that it has a high turnover rate? Yeah, there are a large number of people that check in and check out of the hotel. After weeks of investigating, police still can't determine if Heather was even there. It's really the kind of place where if you're not involved, you don't get involved. Domestic sex trafficking in this country is alive, and this is one theory you believe. Is that correct? It is. Atlanta is a very large market for that sort of thing. I think that she was either in the wrong place at the wrong time or got mixed up with some not good people and got put into a situation that she could not get herself out of. 
The investigation all leads back to that rented red Jeep found here in this parking lot, a place the FBI, the GBI, and Cartersville Police Department have all scoured for clues. In most of the other places, the people will come out, they'll talk to you. Here, they'll barely crack the door. Stefan, Heather's cousin Josh Proctor, and a team of devoted volunteers search the motel's parking lot almost every night looking for any sign of Heather and answers. On this night, they invited our Crime Watch cameras to come along. So right here is where the Jeep was found. It was actually backed in. Let's say Heather did come here willingly. Why would she come to a place like this? We've been told that Heather's been trafficked. We came across another person who told me that Heather had been seen here arguing with two men and that the entire hotel knew about it and had been discussing it. There are at least three security cameras aimed on the parking spot where Heather's Jeep was found. You see a camera right, see there in the corner. But the motel's manager confirms none of them work. I said those cameras working would be a lot of help to us. And he looked at me and he said, there's no law that says my cameras have to work. We asked the motel's owner if we could take our cameras inside to look for guests who may remember seeing Heather, and he gives us the go-ahead. Come this way. My first impressions inside the halls of the motel. Why would she be here? There's an eerie isolation, and the halls are a maze. It's understandable how Heather could have been here, and other guests never saw her. Those cameras? They don't work. If those cameras would have been working, could have told investigators so much as to what happened that night. There are multiple exits leading out to the parking lot where Heather's Jeep was found. This is the back of the motel. It's not a place you want to be by yourself. We searched, but could not find a soul inside the motel willing to talk. It's hard to believe that Heather would come here alone and leave her kids behind. It's another night that Stefan goes home to his three little girls with no answers. Thank you guys for your, for your good work. I'm gonna pray us out of here, if that's okay. I ask you tonight as the sun sets that uh, Heather's heart has not set. Sadly, those prayers will go unanswered. Just days after we left that motel in Cartersville, Georgia, Stefan gets the heartbreaking news that will forever change his life and the lives of those three little girls, Olivia, Molly, and Nova. Heather's body has been found. Cartersville police have yet to confirm how Heather died, saying only that she was found by hunters in a wooded area about 40 miles from home. But now another shocking development. U.S. Marshals confirm this man, Richard Dale Harden, a convicted child sex offender who spent two decades behind bars for enticing a minor, has been named an official person of interest in Heather's disappearance. So what's the connection? It's being reported that Harden befriended Heather's parents at a church and even did some handiwork for Heather and Stefan around their house. The Cartersville Police Department, which is leading the investigation into Heather's disappearance, will not confirm or deny Hardin is being held in connection with the case. Heather's autopsy results are due back in a few weeks, hopefully answering the question, why would someone kill Heather McDonald and leave these three little girls Hi, Daddy. without a mommy? Hey.